What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here, and iPhone on Verizon is as mythical as a unicorn at this point, but we may finally be one step closer to seeing the horned horse. Uh, so Bloomberg yesterday reported from two independent sources that an iPhone is coming to Verizon Wireless in January 2011, uh, which coincides rather perfectly uh, with Verizon's announcement of them turning on their 4G network, or LTE. So what does this mean? Well, it means we actually might see an iPhone with a fourth generation wireless technology in it. Uh, Verizon said they're going to be start selling their 4G handsets come Black Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving, and sort of have the network turned on around the holiday season. Now, the holiday season is actually a time when most people buy cell phones, uh, giving out gifts that are generally cell phones, and people are signing new contracts. So it does seem a bit odd that a phone would be announced in January, uh, while well, sort of right after that big buying period. So I would assume that if the phone is coming in January, it'll be announced prior to the holiday shopping season, which is great news and not that far away. So let's talk a bit about LTE. Uh, so for those of you that don't know, Verizon and Sprint use a wireless technology called CDMA for the current uh, EVDO and voice and data technologies. Uh, AT&T, T-Mobile, and a lot of the other global standards, something called GSM, the phones that have a SIM card uh, are GSM phones. So Verizon's fourth generation LTE technology is actually GSM based. Uh, so there'd be a lot of similarities for what they would have uh, with an AT&T iPhone. Now AT&T's fourth generation technology is also LTE, which is of course uh, GSM based as well. So it would sort of open the door to maybe a fourth generation technology phone uh, on both AT&T and Verizon. And here's where things get a bit tricky because it can't be the same phone. Uh, Verizon has claimed that they are going to still be using their older CDMA network for voice calls and the LTE will just be for data. So there's still going to have to be two radios in this alleged Verizon iPhone. Whereas if there was a fourth generation AT&T phone, it could be uh, still two GSM technologies, although it's still have to be two radios, uh, LTE and traditional sort of 3G edge. Uh, type radio in there. So it's sort of interesting. We're not looking at the same phone on multiple carriers. That would be a bit, a bit of a variance. Uh, but I do think choice is good and choice is good for consumers to pick whether or not which carrier uh, they'd like to be with. Whether you want to go to Big Red or stay with AT&T, uh, Big Red being Verizon. Uh, consumer choice is always a nice thing. So the day of reckoning might finally be here. We may have sort of a choice for carriers. You may be able to pick where you get the best service and which carrier and data plan and prices uh, suit you the best. So what do you think about the iPhone 4 on Verizon in January 2011? Are you upset that you bought an iPhone 4? Are you waiting to upgrade? Are you going to wait and see what happens? Or if you had enough of these rumors you don't care anymore, it's never going to happen. It's just like seeing a unicorn. Uh, anyway guys, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.